In this session, we are going to demonstrate the application of hexagonal microfluidic pump for cell addition and rolling experiments. For this experiments, we are using only one hexagonal pump, a V9 fluoroplast biochip, which is fitted on the frame of the microscope, and a camera is connected to the microscope. And on the screen, you can see the live image of the channel. And the pump is controlled by iPad Mini. We are going to switch on the pump. Since there is no flow sensor connected, the light is in orange. Now we want to connect the Wi-Fi network of the Exigo pump. For that, you go to the settings, go to Wi-Fi, and click Exigo 1. Now it's connected. Next, we need to start the app by clicking. You click connect. You double click the plunger and it asks to initialize the pump. Click initialize. Now the pump is initialized. Now the pump is initialized you can see the green color next is to select the syringe for that you double click the syringe so you have option for the glass syringe and the plastic syringe you click the one ml plastic syringe next is to pre-fill the syringe with the media for that we have a one ml syringe media a tube with pin at one end and the connector at the other end. Take the syringe. Fill with media. Connect the blue connector. Remove the bubbles, connect the tubing, and flush the media to fill the tubing, and you can see the liquid on the other side. Next, we have to connect the syringe into the syringe slot. For that, you remove the holder, you put the syringe and you see the plunger is a little far so we have to adjust the plunger with the application in the iPad mini. To position the plunger you just push the syringe. Now the plunger is in position, we are going to clamp it with the holder. Now the syringe is set. Next, we are going to connect the tubing to the chip to watch the channels. For that we need to program the flow rate. In the application you click the program, click add constant and in the small window you change to 80,000 nanoliter per minute you click done and for time you click 0 0.5 minutes done then you go and click program then click run now you can see the pump is running and a droplet forming at the end of the tube you gently insert the pin into the chip 
and now it's washing the channel. Once the channel is washed, remove the waste from the other side of the channel using a pipette. Take the sample and load it on the other side of the channel. We would like to run the assay at 0.5 dimes per centimeter square. So with the table provided, we will find how much flow rate has to be set to achieve 0.5 dimes per centimeter square. To go to the table, this table shows if you want to run at 0.5 dimes per centimeter square, the flow rate should be 2 microliter per minute. So go to the app, click the flow rate, set it at minus 2000 since you are pulling the sample. Click done. Time of 5 minutes. Click done. Click program, run the assay. Next, we will like to run the whole blood over the same chip coated with VCAM. Before running the whole blood in the same chip, we need to wash the tube because the tubes are with the cells. To wash the tube, you place the tube in an apple lock tube, then move the syringe. As previously mentioned, to wash the tube, Click program, then run. You can see the liquid start coming at the end. You bring it to the channel. As said before, take out the waste. Take the blood sample, load it on the other side of the chip. So for perfusion of blood, we use this protocol, one with a minus 40,000 nanometer per minute, that is only for 0.2 minutes, and the other one is point minus 2,000 nanometer for Five minutes. Click program. Run. For running platelets experiments, we need to have more sample because we have to run it at very high shear. So we keep this epinol holder for a large amount of sample. So we wash the same the tube as we have mentioned before. Then we connect it to the While washing the channel, you take the other small tube, connect to the other side of the channel, it 
is connected to the upper nerve tube. So once a droplet is formed on the other side, put the tube into the blood sample. Now we are ready to run the assay. For running the whole blood, we would use 67.5 lines, that is 60 microliters per minute. So in the program, we have to set 60,000 nanoliter per minute. So in the program, set it up to 60,000 nanoliter per minute for five minutes. Click program and click run.